Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back today, and today I'm going to be showing you the top 10 games I've played so far by me. Um, so here we go. Number 10. Really big. So, first we have Pokemon Tournament uh, Deluxe. Um, and also, before we get into this, actually, like while we're on Pokemon Tournament, uh, you can kind of see it right now, but like how I'm going to rate these is by graphics story slash plot time that you can play it like the amount of time that you can play it and it not get boring slash beat it and community like just like my experience with the people that play it and like things i've seen on youtube about it so we get a pokemon tournament uh pretty good graphics like i like it's got some pretty good graphics on it like uh, I might do a video on it, just so you can see. But it's got some really good graphics on it, because, like, the 3 battle format of Pokemon is really cool. And I'm not talking about 3D, where you're, like, in the, your little circle. Like, you can move around and stuff. It's just fun. Um, but, yeah, the story plot slash plot, it's, like... I rated it a 6 out of 10. Oh, yeah, the story slash plot, time to play, and community, they're all out of 10, guys. Um story slash plot i like the fact that in the original one pokemon tournament like the normal one not dx or deluxe um that you had to like beat shadow mewtwo and like go up the leagues so that's why i gave it a six you know no more nor less um time to play i i give it like a five just because well i i don't know it just kind of you know, it doesn't give you too much time to play it. You know, it kind of gets old after a little bit. And also the community, I gave a five as well because um, I just think the community could do better. Like, it's it's good, but it could do better, you know? So, on number nine here, um, we have Minecraft, obviously. Um, so, like, I bet a lot of people are wondering why this doesn't come, like, my number one on my list. It's just because, like... Based on its graphics, it probably has the worst graphics out of all the games. Here, uh, I put it as blocky. I didn't, like, give a specific. It, it's a blocky, okay? And, um, I really like this game. The story plot, I ranked it a 2. Because, you know, guys, it doesn't really, like, straightforward give you the story. It just kind of puts you out there and tells you how to play. It doesn't tell you what to do. Um, but, yeah, once I figured out the story, it was kind of good you know, defeat the Ender Dragon, but, like, after that, it's just really bad story. I know they, like, made a game called Minecraft Story Mode, but, like, for this Minecraft, like, the normal, it, the story is just bad. And then, the time you can play, I, I rated it an 8, just because, like, there's so many things you can do. You can do survival Let's Plays, you can do creative buildings, you can do whatever, man. It's just awesome. Also, the community, 7 out of 10, because, community is just really great man i love it it's always fun to like go into hypixel or some other server and be like hey anyone want to play bed wars and someone might say yeah and then you can play with them and ma maybe make a new friend it's kind of cool so on to number eight here we have call of duty black ops 2 for the xbox 360 now this is a classic i love this game so much um the graphics are pretty good because like you know there's 3d quality graphics awesome uh the plot i gave it a five mostly because one i haven't seen most of it and for the most part it's pretty good it's just i can't like really give a, a real rating um without like playing through all of it i got stuck on like the level second level of the campaign you guys can comment down below what you give this for story slash plot and also guys brings up a point this is this is clearly opinion based um, the time you can play, you can play this for so many, many times. You can do zombies, you can do campaign, you can do multiplayer, online, just amazing. Community, I rated it a 6 because, like, it's, it's good, but, you know, it, it could, it could do some improving. Like, there's a lot of bad community members out there, but there's a lot of good ones, too. So, on to number 7, we have Pokemon Alpha Sapphire. So, um... This comes in at number six just because the graphics are good. You know, they're not quite there. You know, the Pokemon battles could probably be a little bit cooler. Um, the story plot, it's eight. I like 
hunting down um, Archie in it, and I couldn't remember if it was like reverse, like in black and white, where like black you get Rusher and white you get Zekrom, and like the evil teams, yeah. Um, I just like the all the things that you could do in it, like the dive HM, that was pretty cool. It's just a lot of good things in the game, and time you can play, I rate 5, just because, like, after the story, you have, like, the little end thing, and then that's about it. Like, unless you want to train up and, like, shiny hunt and stuff, that's about it. Community is 7, I love the Pokemon community so much, it's just a really nice place, you know? But, on to number 6, big in your face, we have Pokemon Sun. So, um, I've played a couple of Pokemon games, not all of them. Not even close. I played like Pokemon Black, Pokemon Heart Gold, XY, Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, and Sun and Moon. And I'm gonna play Ultra Sun and Moon. So this is like my top 10 right now. And um, the graphics are good. All the Pokemon graphics are good, you know, that are on this list anyway. There's only three, so don't get worried. Um, the story plot eight. I like the Ultra Beast thing, it was really cool, but like Mega Evolution. It probably would have been a 9 if Mega Evolution was not just kind of thrown in there at the end. Um, time you can play, 6, just because you have the Battle Tree. So you get a little more time out of it than Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. And the community, the community is great, as I said, Pokemon community. I don't know why this keep, keeps popping, popping up. But um, next we have number 5, Pokemon Y. Alright, so the graphics good, obviously, because it's a Pokemon game. Uh, story Plot 9. I really like the fact that you had to beat Lysandre, and, um, like, you had to free AZ. It just really nice story plot from it, because, man, this is my favorite Pokemon game I've played so far. I love Yvetal. I have a little character figure of him that I keep on my desk. Uh, I have him right now. I'm kind of fidgeting with him right now. And it's just first Pokemon game I played, um... Yeah, I started with Y, but then I went back to, like, Black and Hard Gold. Um, time you can play, 7, just because, like, I really like to shiny hunt in this game just because of the horde hunting and, you know, the gem sequence and the Lysandre. Yeah. Um, the community, 7, because it's a Pokemon game. I think Sun's community was a little bit better because it kind of evolved over the years. But now, on to number 4. Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Man, I could not leave this out of the list. It's my first Zelda game I've ever played, um, like, fully and beat. You know, I played a little bit of Spirit Tracks, or what was it? Spirit, I probably, fa no, fa Phantom Hourglass. Yeah, Phantom Hourglass. That's the one I played. Um, I always get confused with the two in ones. Um, so, yeah. So, I, I put the graphics as good, or 64-bit, because I played the one for the 3DS, but I know there's also the 64-bit one. And um, the story and plot, I rated it a 10 out of 10. I love the fact that you have to use the ocarina to get to places and just the temples and the, the story to get, like, the spiritual stones. It was just a really nice story. The time to play is 9 because it's, uh, it's, it's a long game. Um, it's a very long game to play. And I like that. I like games that, like, aren't two-minute session plays of just, like, quickness. I, I want my $50 to go <laughs> pretty far, you know? Community is eight. I loved, like, all the excited Let's Plays on these. Th this game was just amazing. I love the Ocarina as well. Like, I, I, I found one at GameStop the other day, and I really want it. It's like this Ocarina where you have the buttons on it, but they're, like, um right arrow top arrow left and down and like the ab it was really cool to see that you could play zelda's lullaby and stuff the stuff that you can play in the game that's really nice um but yeah moving on to number three uh we have halo 3 <laughs> coincidence i think not um so this was actually the first first person shooter game i've ever played um i played it in kindergarten with my best friend at the time and in kindergarten, we could not figure out how to do anything. And then first grade, we came back and beat the whole game. It was awesome. Um, graphics are pretty good. Story plot, I give it an eight. I like just going through with the flute and the Master Chief. It was just a really great plot. Uh, the time to play is eight, you know, because sometimes this the campaign takes a little while. 
um, which is, I like that about the campaign, and I like that it's a little bit challenging as well. I probably put challenge, like, difficulty on here. Maybe, um, if I get an updated list for you guys soon, maybe. Um, but yeah, Community 7, I like, um, all the people that I've met that play Halo 3, they're, they're like, some nice people, and again, you know, not the best. So, number two, we have... Um, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild and guys I have to say my number two and my number one they're like so close together in like features of the game that it's really hard to choose but like the first one I've just been it's it's new and I just loved it so much um, this like I might have to make a new one as soon as the DLC for Zelda drops just because it might overtake it so the graphics high definition you know that open world beautifulness um, story plot 10 I, I rated it all 10 out of 10 because story plot that was just great calamity ganon free the divine beast it was awesome time to play 10 out of 10 like just so long so long of a game 200 hours or more to beat it you know if you're casually playing you know casually playing but like trying to get it done like not 100 percent complete not speed run just like kind of casually playing through the storyline plot over 200 hours of gameplay and that's just awesome um, and the community is 10. I love the community for this. I've seen so many, like, glitch videos. I've seen, like, a lot of stuff for this. And my how-to video on it is close to 400 views right now, which is amazing. Uh, so, on to number one. Number one, as I said, this was a close, close second in one. We have Assassin's Creed Origins. Yep. See, I'm actually loading this game and about to play it as soon as I get done with this video. I love this game! It's amazing. I love assassinating people, you know, because I'm a ninja. And, um, like, not in real life, but, like, in games, it's really fun. And I like, I love mythology, guys. Um, mythology is my favorite. Um, if you ask any of my friends, you can know that I know a lot of the ancient gods for Greece or Rome or some of Egypt and some Norse. I just, I just love mythology. And so that's why I like the combination of assassins and Egypt. That's just an amazing combo to me. So, graphics, HD, story plot, 10. I love that you have to kill these, like, fake people that are trying to, like, take over Egypt under the pharaoh. It's just beautiful. The time to play, it's just a, such a lengthy game. Like, I, I've been playing it for over four days now. Still at level 6. And I play it for a lengthy amount of time each time. I'm still at level 7. Okay? I'm on the second area. I killed one person out of the five. And, you know, that might seem, oh, you're one-fifth of the way done. 20% complete. Yeah, well, not really, because, you know, that's, like, the first easy guy is, like, level 5. Next guy's, like, level 11, and then it, like, ex escalates, and you need more XP for each level. You know, it just, it's a really long game that I enjoy longer games because it's just more gameplay. Like I said, $60, I so want, want it to go a long way. Um, and then the community, I rate the community 9 out of 10, because, like, I haven't seen too many things on this. I haven't, like, wanted to get spoilers, but, like, I definitely think there's been a lot of hype over this game. And, um, whenever I talk to my friends, they seem really intrigued with the hidden blade, actually. But, yeah, that guys, that is the end of this video. If you did enjoy, make sure you like, and if you're new here, hey, subscribe, because this is my first top 10. I'm, if you want me to, guys... I'll do another top 10, um, soon, but, like, yeah, if you want me to do another top 10, I will, like, just comment down below what it should be, whether it's, like, top 10 Pokemon, top 10 things in Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, top 10 things in Assassin's Creed Origins, uh, just whatever you want me to do, I'll do it, you know, top 10, you know, as long as it's within my, like, area of things, like, I'm not gonna do a top 10 on... I don't know, comic books, um, just because, like, I don't do comic books at all, like, yeah, so just, like, if it's about Zelda or something, yeah, throw it at me, I'll do whatever top tens you guys want me to, you know, as long as I have time and stuff, but yeah, like I said, that'll be about it for this video, guys, if you did enjoy, make sure you leave a like down below, and if you're new here, hey, subscribe, because we're, we're gonna start doing some more top tens, top fives on the videos, for videos because it's just like a fun concept to like kind of see my opinion on stuff and um yeah that's that's like about it for me guys uh ninja out smoke bomb